Hey, <laughs> so I am testing out the Wahoo Ticker X. Whoops, upside down. The Wahoo Ticker X brand new um, <clears throat> variant on the old Wahoo Run, uh, Ticker Run, that I used to use now and then when I was running on Zwift. And uh, uh, these uh, are kind of hard to get at the moment, but you know how that goes. So I'll, I'll put the link to Amazon. I got mine on Amazon. It was actually less expensive than getting it from Wahoo themselves. Uh, Wahoo, I think, is on a stock when I checked um, yesterday, but Amazon still had some. And uh, there was a slight delay in the shipping. It took me an extra day to get. Uh, I don't know if that's uh, a permanent condition or it was just a fluke with weather or whatnot. So I'm going to quick um, do the magic TikTok trick here. Okay, it's on. I don't think you can see the light glowing, but it's got the red and blue lights shining to show that it's touching me and it's looking for Bluetooth. And it also does Ant and Bluetooth. It will do three simultaneous Bluetooth connections, which is just amazing uh, to me because that way I can use it with my uh, run client and uh, with Zwift. And if I really, really want to, for some reason, I can do it with the Wahoo Fitness app. And uh, the Wahoo Fitness app is uh, actually okay. I've used it uh, when I needed to. And I used to use it with my uh, Ticker Run because it was really one of the only ways to record anything. So I can set this up as my heart rate monitor and pace uh, cadence and uh, running speed on Zwift. And I can use it uh, for the heart rate monitor on my Run Klein app that will feed into my stride, use my stride foot pod for pace, uh, power, cadence, and speed uh, with the Run Klein app, which I have on my iPad. So first of all, I'm gonna start my iPad setup. <laughs> there we go. So. First of all, I'm uh, getting it open. And I'm not gonna screen share from my iPad today. That's just a little bit more than I'm up for at the moment. Sorry about that. Okay, so bring up the Run Klein app. I've put up screenshots of this before. And hey, look. Anyway, uh, set it for heart rate. I have to look for the, uh, the pod. Well, that doesn't bode well. There we go. Ticker X. Got it. Okay. Ticker X check marked and it's ready to go and start. Now, this with this run client app is not going to actually trigger until I have um, run at a 4.5 pace for X number of seconds. I, I don't know what that number of seconds is, but it just kind of just starts and does its thing. All right, I'm gonna put this behind me here. Well, I can reach it if I need to. Garbage cans. <clears throat> okay, now to find my Zwift. Okay, I've got Zwift running. Okay, uh, ticker X, okay, cadence from ticker X, okay, ticker X, okay, okay, and we're just going to go to Mayfield and run. Helps if I have the treadmill turned on. All right, now my uh, run climb is sitting there. Hopefully, it's going to do its thing. Wait for Watopia to load. Now, the plan for today is to. Uh, the other day, when I had the um, uh, the ticker X running, I had some difficulty with it because it uh, was reading over. So today I'm going to attempt to calibrate it. So let's just, uh, first of all, get up to speed here enough that, that everything will kick into gear. Oh, 
Okay, run climb is working. Good deal. And I didn't even have to get up to 4.5. My Garmin is a little bit loose. I like to wear it loose during the day. A little bit annoying. Now I have it set at 4 on the treadmill. Uh, run climb says 3.8 ish, something like that. And run climb is actually the authoritative source for these things. All right, so I'm going to go through the calibration um, uh, process with the ticker X. Go through the calibration process, ticker X, X calibration for ticker X. So I need to put run climb when I can see it, which I hate to do. Yay, got a thumbs up, baby. Okay, so go to the calibration process, um, menu, pair, tools, and set your normal running speed. And I'm gonna, because it's been a long time and I've been injured a lot, I'm going to go for the five uh, 4.1, 5 point, uh, you know what, I'm going to actually set it this way because for right now, for at least the next month or so, this is where I'm going to be at, and just to be honest with you. So uh, let's uh, run through the process here and set the treadmill to 4.5. So we're going to go 4.6, and that should get me pretty close. Almost watching the little clocky go around. Sorry if it sounds like I'm panting. Good form, good form. Shoulders, neck, chin. Treadmill set to six, and it's like 5.7 for room climb. Okay, success. That was at least. Uh, a partially successful there um, compared to like a the Zwift Run Pod ones, which took me about six attempts. Okay, uh, catch my breath here because <laughs> I did this with a warm up, and uh, I am going to uh, start running here and uh, 
So now you know. Calibrating that ticker run. And let's, uh, standing still, two miles an hour. Okay, let's see how that plays out. And actually, I'm also at 3%, which I forgot before I started this. I should have set it down to 1%. <clears throat> The recline app allows you to set the uh, percentage of inclination uh, so that your power settings from the stride foot pod are adjusted for your inclination. It also reports uh, elevation gain. Um, because Zwift doesn't count these miles for the worm, for the um, calibration the same way that they count the miles for the uh, actual running, uh, run climb is uh, 0.29 miles and it's 0 0.07 for the for the Zwift. So let's go ahead and uh, just run a little bit here in Zwift for a few minutes just to kind of get an idea. So first of all I'm going to set it to 4 which should be about 3.8, 3.9 on the run climb and see what the ticker X reports It's reading over. Okay. So the calibration was pretty much worthless, uh, which I found to be true for the Stride Run Pod. I mean, the Zwift Run Pod, sorry, Stride. The Zwift Run Pod as well. That there was like one speed it was set to, and all of the others were just like garbage. And it's okay, I'll be making up my, my 0.3 miles here before too long. Okay, I'm going to disconnect this and uh, run it like a real run now for the rest of my uh, workout tonight. And uh, it's been good seeing you and hopefully, um, you know, later calibration I can get it more accurate. Uh, when I get back here in about a month and I'm running at a faster pace, I'm going to give it another try at the faster pace to see how it works. And uh, in the meantime, thanks. And uh, be sure that you, you know, click the little subscribe button here if you want to see more of these and uh, follow the playlist there if you want to, um, uh, you know, get in the loop for the playlist, which you really should do. This playlist. The... Incline Trimmer Trainer Playlist. Okay? Thanks.